Hello everybody! Today I wanted to do a, uh, a little live read and review of a uh, of an article that just came out recently on Newsbreak.com called How to Get a High Score on Wordle. I felt that I wanted to give it a little read, and this is a live review. It came out 16 minutes ago. Uh, you can't actually see that, but it does say that up here right above where you can't see right there 16 minutes ago. Uh, it's currently 11.37 p.m. EST on the 12th of January, 2023. It probably came out 17 minutes ago at this point. I want to read through, give my opinion on it. It's a decently, you know, short thing here, but I'd like to read through and uh, give you my perspective on it. Wordle is a popular puzzle game that challenges players to guess a hidden word or phrase by guessing letters and arrange them to form the correct word or phrase. Sure. The game is simple to play, but it can be challenging to achieve a high score. I mean, depends on what you mean by a high score, but sure. This article will support some strategies for getting a high score on Wordle. Sure. First of all, Mars is imperative to have a strong vocabulary. That's somewhat true. I think that people who have a smaller vocabulary definitely have, to some degree, a weakness in this game. That's definitely a vulnerability, but I don't think it's necessary to be able to, to do well uh, with, a strong, with a strong vocabulary as long as you're, you have a uh, robust enough understanding of your own vocabulary to be able to apply strategy. Knowing a wide range of words will give you an advantage for trying to guess the hidden word or phrase. I mean, it is true. It is true that you know, having it, it will give you an advantage. In addition to expanding your vocabulary, it's also helpful to be familiar with common letter patterns and common letter combinations in words. I would genuinely completely agree with that. That is a very good assessment, um, especially traps if you're playing in hard mode. Being able to know what common uh, what common, like, end bits come really often, knowing where the common letters are, what positions they most commonly appear in, knowing that, like, S is a, is a very common letter, but it almost rarely appears at the end because of the rules of Wordle words, as well as that Y is most common at the end, T's happen towards the beginning of the word, things like that to give you an idea. Yeah, and that X, although X isn't a very common letter, it almost always appears in the same position in words, things like that. So yeah, I think that being familiar with common letter patterns and where they arrange, knowing the, you know, E-R-R-Y is something, knowing that, uh, that like, there's an a, that a blank A blank E-R trap and blank O blank E-R, uh, blank O blank E-R trap, and that I-G-H-T is a trap, the blank I-G-H-T and things like that, blank O-U-N-D, being able to see them ahead of time, knowing those are definitely quite important to be able to solve Wordle. I would completely and wholeheartedly agree with that sentence. To help you make educated guesses and increase your chances of guessing the correct word or phrase. That is a very reasonable and somewhat milquetoast uh, paragraph. Another effective strategy is to pay attention to the length of the word or phrase. Uh, five letters. What? What? What do you... It's, it's Wordle. Wordle's always five letters. There's no length or... What phrase? Wait, correct word or phrase? It's always five letters. What are you talking about? Unless you're talking about, unless you're talking about like wordlers in general, like wordle variants. In which case, eh, eh whatever. Uh, if the word or phrase is short, it'll be easier to guess than a longer one. Absolutely disagree. That is just not even close to true. Um, there was an interesting video by Jan Meesley that talks about why Hangman is an interesting game and why it's a weird game and all of that. And one of the things that he mentioned is that. Um, if you have a really long word and you give a single letter, um, you can often just figure out the unique word based on that. If anything, shorter words are harder to be able to guess um, in the amount of clues you have, depending on that. Um, I would say that, like, the sweet spot is five or six. Uh, four becomes, like, too difficult to be fair because there's so many, uh, there's so many... Uh, things like, for example, the ICK trap, if you're doing, uh, if you're doing in, uh, in Wordle, uh, four, you have wick, you have tick, you have pick, lick, kick, uh, you have sick, uh, nick, like, th that's just one trap I pulled off the top of my head. There's a lot of those kinds of traps that just appear out of nowhere. There's only a handful that exist in five letters, even fewer that exist in six, and once you get into higher hires, then there's barely any that'll exist that are of meaning so meaningful size. I'm just thinking of like other ones that could exist, depending. Like the yeah, it, no, the the longer the word or phrases, the generally the easier it is to guess. Especially if you're doing common phrases, or if you're doing uh, any wordlers that have like uh, quotes. Then you know there's combinations of words that are going to be in hand. And when you have combinations of different words, you can usually figure out one of the words, and therefore the letters associated with it. Uh, Wheel of Fortune style. Um. So yeah, I I disagree with uh, with that. It. 
for a high score. What is a high score in this? I have no idea what you're talking about here. Like the fewer, the fewer words is the higher score, I guess. Another strategy is to look for patterns in the letters that are addressed to you. Okay, that's fine. If you're given a string of consonants, for example, is likely the hidden word or phrase starts with a consonant. I guess that's generally fair. If you if you are playing Wordle and you're given and you find three consonants, it's reasonable to try pivoting the consonants to assume that it starts with a consonant. That's not just statistics, though. There's more that in linguistics you generally want vowels to be in the middle of words just generally. Um, and when you're given more consonants, it's reasonable to assume it starts or ends with a consonant. Um, ending is less or so true. Uh, because that, like, there's a lot of words that end in E, there's a lot of words that end in a Y, so, which is, you know, whether it's a vowel consonant, whole argument, whatever. Uh, but yeah, um, I, don't, I wouldn't really say if you're given a string of consonants, it's likely that the word or phrase starts with a consonant. I don't think it's actually a reasonable thing to assume that because you're given consonants, that it must, like, all words that begin with a vowel also have consonants in them. They might have fewer consonants proportionally. Like, it, in, a, in a word that has four consonants, it's almost, I don't think there's any word that have four consonants in Wordle that starts or ends with a vowel. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that this is, like, a kind of just a bad, it doesn't really, it's a kind of meaningless here. Um, in addition, if a letter is in the same place, oh, sorry, uh, oh, sorry, that's the wrong thing. Um, it's similar, if you're given a string of vowels, it's likely that hidden word starts with a vowel. That's not at all true. If you're given, that's, that's I, I don't know what, you, what you're going on for here about. It's good to pay attention to the position of letters in the word or phrase. Sure. Um, there's common places where the positions matter quite a bit, where, uh, the, uh, where the first letter tends to be a common certain kind of uh, kind of letter, you'll often get like uh, ST is a very common starting one, TH, TR, things like that, um, BL, BR. So being able to know that like, well, here are the linking letters you have. Putting H in the second position is usually a pretty strong guess. An L, an N, an R in the second position are all pretty good. Be able to figure out where the positions are is reasonable. If letters, if a letter is in the same position in multiple words. This isn't even Wordle anymore. But like, it's like the letter is part of a hidden word of the. What are you talking about? If a letter is in the same position in multiple words, it's likely that the letter is part of the hidden word or phrase. What? What are you talking about? I'm so con. In, if, in addition, if a letter is in the same position in multiple words, it's likely that the letter is part of the hidden word. What are you... What? This is just repeating the same thing. If a letter is in the same position, if a letter is in the same position, in multiple words, in multiple words, it's likely that the letter, it's likely that the letter is part of the hidden word or phrase. Is part of the hidden... Yeah, it's literally just repeating the same sentence. What... Is this just AI-generated? This has to be AI-generated, right? This is... This is absolute horseshit. This doesn't mean anything. No strategy is to use a delete method. If you can eliminate certain letters or letter combinations from your guess, you'll increase your chances of... Okay. That's reasonable. That's fine. Saying... It's not... I wouldn't call it del the delete method, but yes. Trying to eliminate common letters is pretty much a bog-standard important thing to be able to do when you're doing Wordle, especially in hard mode. You often will solve the word by get by figuring out what it isn't as opposed to what it is. When you've eliminated all uh, all the wrong answers, whatever is left must be correct. So, like when you're when you're trying to avoid traps, um, you have to figure out what possible options you have in that trap and eliminate those options before you fall into the trap. So, like if you have like an OU, it might be reasonable to not use an N or a D because you don't want to fall into the OUND trap until after you've already tested a handful of the other letters and did that like delete strategy. Makes sense, right? But oh, this is just so weird. Um, finally, one of the most critical strategies for getting a high score on Wordle is to practice. The more you play the game, the better you'll become guessing a hidden word or phrase. That's fine. As you practice with a little better understanding of the common letter patterns and letter combinations, you become more familiar with the game's mechanics. Like, yes, that's true, but I think that more important than just practicing is also studying. If you really want to go a little bit, like, if you want to be better at the game, learning a little bit, looking into some online resources, watch some content creators also solve, um, do some, like, I've got, I've got a good, like, resource analysis video that I posted, one of the 101 videos, uh, where I talked about, like, avoiding a trap in a certain situation, and you can, you, like, you can look up, uh, like, ambiguous words, things like that. Um, I'm going to put 
a couple resources down in the description below, including this article if you want to come look at it. But this is just so weird here. In conclusion, getting a high score in Wordle requires a combination of skill, strategy, and practice. Yes. By expanding your vocabulary, paying attention to the length of the word or phrase, looking for patterns in the letters, using the process of elimination, and practicing Wordle regularly, increase your chances of achieving a high score in Wordle. What is this article? This has to have just been... Beat that high score. What are you talking about? This just has to be a like an AI-generated article. I'm so confused. What is this actual garbage? I don't I don't know why this exists. I, I was thought this was gonna be like an interesting critique, but it's just like I'm so confused by the content of this. There's nothing of substance here. Anyways, uh, if you want some actually good things, feel free to look in the description down below. I'm going to put a couple little resources that I personally use to do a little bit of uh, of, uh, of analysis and practicing and warming up and familiarity and all that. I don't know. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all next time and just don't give these views. Don't, don't give these kinds of articles views. They're just absolute crap.